Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and your weekend is beginning with gusto. So in this video, uh, firstly that isn't it, don't worry, don't worry, it's not that. So basically I want to do a little bit more of a, a different style of video today. Uh, basically, so those of you who don't know, um, I have been, or should know, but hopefully might, um, I've been doing videos on Fallout 4 since basically the game released. Well, about a three weeks after it dropped and then I uploaded my first video and the channel has gone through various different playthroughs since then so I've restarted the game a couple of times usually coinciding with when we've got major updates but but I still keep all of my old saves and I did this maybe about six months ago six seven eight maybe yeah maybe half a year ago I think maybe it was when I passed one year doing videos or maybe it was like a certain level I can't remember exactly when it was but I basically showed you guys around my original original sanctuary build again and people really really liked it just kind of seeing the whole thing again especially comparing and contrasting how we've developed well I wanted to do that again however not for that one actually my last one before I started my current save uh, so those of you I'm looking at and the reason why I've started near Red Rocket so you can see Basically, um, I used to, this is pre-mods, and this is actually pre-most of the DLCs. We've only, at this point in the save, actually only got the Wasteland Workshop, and as you can see, the Automatron DLCs installed. And it's quite, oh, see, look at the lag. That is a one reason, by the way, I stopped. Um, but it's quite interesting, kind of, seeing how the builds have developed. And also, it's quite nostalgic as well, to basically just kind of, because, for example, it, it looks... This is a bit better decorated than the Sanctuary you can see, because I never actually finished it. Uh, but basically, I... You might notice, for example, nearly everything is wood. Like, the whole thing is using the wood tab. There really isn't much else. There might be bits and pieces of metal. I think I think one of these is metal. Um, and this part here is actually a little bit of concrete. But, by and large, everything was made in the wood tab. And... It's just interesting. I've, I've actually wandered around this sanctuary before a second ago, and it's just crazy how different it is. And I thought it would just be interesting to actually kind of show it again further down the line. I don't think I've actually done a full tour on it before, so that'll be interesting. Just as a note, one, there will be quite a lot of frame rate droppage because of the fact that, you know, this is PS4 and I did build up quite a lot. It's only about 85% built because basically I did just stop. I announced I was stopping it and I just... Deleted, I uploaded the save and backed it up and then deleted it off my um, computer on my console So just as a note, I just wanted to kind of I wanted to show you it because people have been mentioning whatever happened to that So I just wanted to kind of show you it and also if you guys like this what I might do is actually do tours Like I'll do several per video so it won't be just like you know one video per you know basically rehashing the tours again but basically what I might do is kind of do quick overviews so you guys can some see some of my older settlements. Because this is basically from about a year ago. And obviously I think at least half of you came after this point. So you won't have seen it. Anyway, let's have a look. See, so this is my sanctuary. Now, as a note, this is PS4. So obviously these structures are going to uh, basically appear, zoom in. <laughs> from a distance, they're not going to render in immediately because uh, the 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 render distance for objects, see that part of the wall over there, um, doesn't actually. It's not actually very very, very very close or very very far rather, but it is quite a cool build. The one thing you're going to notice is, this is all like most of this is actually built even before we got the. Yeah, it was actually before this. I just stopped this as we got Wasteland Workshop more or less. I think it was about. Half a month, so a couple of weeks after Wasteland Workshop, when I actually installed this DLC, and so you're, most of it, nearly all of it, is wood with bits of metal. And though, for example, like I loved this wall, the Great Wall of Sanctuary, it it is a bit of an eyesore if you stand back and look at it. So like, look at it now; it looks awesome, right? The actual wall itself looks badass. I especially love this section down here. This is, this is my favourite section of the wall. Just because the way it contrasts and its height and how kind of sturdy it looks is just so awesome. However, it's just so much wood. Like, it's just... It, it's so much and it just really... Like, this part looks cool, but if, like, for example, if you saw me walking across the bridge, it's quite an eyesore. And... 
that was kind of one of the reasons why I stopped. There also, as you can see, there's quite a huge frame rate problem. None of the buildings are even decorated. Like, we have really jaggedy frame rates, and none of the buildings are even decorated, and they're barely lit as well. So the reason why I dropped it and started doing this, it was after this point that I realized I wanted to do smaller builds going forward, but more high detail. But what also what stood out to me, because I was kind of wandering around it earlier, is how kind of basic all the structures are. Now, this isn't just, like, everyone have. We all seem to have kind of developed in at the same pace. Now, it's largely due to, you know, obviously getting mods, getting new DLCs, so our, you know, our, our toolbox has been expanded. But it's interesting, because, like... Like, I like... I loved these structures. I like, remember this is my trade post here. You see, see the trade post? Remember the trade post? And I'll notice, by the way, that... I do have the mods installed right now, so mainly because I just loaded the save in. So, for example, you'll see a few things like the Brahmin have been changed to dogs, but I haven't actually used any mods in the builds. Um, but yeah, I love the trade boat. This is my clinic. Also, my I, actually this I do still love. Actually, this is my shrine. Every settlement had a shrine in them, and this is this is my shrine, and it's got loads of chems and stuffs. Oh, good times, good times with the shrine. Uh, this is when my character was molded as the, basically he was the general, but the general liked his drugs. Basically, that that was pretty much the entire premise. But yeah, no, like the the structures are quite simplistic, is the better way to put it. But uh, you can also see how we've developed and changed compared to now. Like now, I really like what I built. It's really cool. Uh, the the channel isn't as busy anymore because obviously the game has been out for ages. However, I much prefer the structures I make because of the fact that they're much more high detailed like they really do look I, I can imagine stumbling across those structures in the game but realistically I don't know if I could imagine stumbling into these or maybe I might have at the time I don't know it just that they do stand out quite a bit there's so much like literally I just did ditch this so you will see like mess everywhere and this, the decoration is, is, is awful um, this is also my favorite of the gatehouses but it's, it's so fascinating just to kind of go back through it again and just to see how everything's developed and changed. Like, there are parts of it I absolutely love. I said I love the wall. This is also, I think, just as when we discovered the pillar glitch. And so, therefore, I was basically just pillar glitch and everything and learned how to... I think so. Did I have the pillar glitch then? Or did I do it in a really obnoxious way? I can't remember. This structure was actually the first structure I made out of concrete. So what I did is, those of you who remember when Wasteland Workshop dropped, so this is basically our first DLC that added real building materials. Wait, did Automatron, was it Automatron then Wasteland Workshop? Yes, I think it was Automatron first then Wasteland Workshop. I might get the order wrong. When Automatron uh, Wasteland Workshop dropped, these were the first, the first items that we'd had to actually kind of give us more decoration options. Like I said, the decoration, as you can see, is so sparse as well. Uh, the one reason that, it, that this save particular is because of the fact, that obviously, it was so huge that too much decoration would have made everything really, 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 really laggy. But also, just practically speaking, we just had no options. Um, like, this is the one, one of the few buildings in this settlement that's actually kind of decorated to an extent. And as you can see, it's, it's really simple. Like, compared to what I'm doing now and what everyone else is doing now, it's because we didn't have mods. But it's not even really mods, to be honest. Because once... Nuka World had come around. We had so much stuff to use to actually make the interiors of our settlements look really cool. The, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm saying I don't appreciate. I love mods now, but just especially the decoration part specifically. It makes my life so much. It just makes the whole experience a lot more enjoyable, and there's a lot you can be a lot more creative and make them much more imaginative and just fun. But also, just like you know, when Nuka World came around, we did have a lot of stuff. But it's just interesting to see like. These really vanilla, vanilla builds, and how they, how they differed. This one actually even looks. Those of you who've watched my, if you just saw my video by oldest, and that'll be the tour of my original sanctuary. And if anything, that one looks a little bit more detailed than this one, mainly because it's smaller. So I, I spent a little bit more time to kind of actually making things look cool, but it's still that like completely unfinished over there. <laughs> Um, it's just still absolutely fascinating me to kind of like, because this, yeah, this is also one of my most popular series back in the day. Like this is one everyone's clamoring with, and now when I look over it now, to be fair, I don't think it looks very good. Like it's very, very, kind of messy. 
it really stands out to me that it's been built by the player. I don't know why I have so many cats in here. Ooh, I don't know what I was thinking of. I think, if I remember correctly, I think I was redecorating this room before I decided to scrap it. So that's why it does actually look... This is my character's home. I don't know why I gave them a lock on his toilet for. <laughs> Um, so I think I was midway through. This is also like before we could even get. Remember the leaves? Remember the leaves, people? Do you remember the leaves? I hated. Ah, oh, I, I hate. Wh why did Bethesda not give us the ability to scrap leaves? Like you, bloody idiots! Uh, but it's it's just so fascinating to me to kind of see how it's changed. Now, incidentally, these Nixie tubes, I completely forgot these existed. Like, legit, completely forgot these existed. So, we need to start using those again, because they came in Wasteland Workshop, and I don't think I've ever used them for anything. And I think I just forget where... I think they are actually in the USO mod, but I've just never used them. Uh, let's not go in there, because there's nothing in. I remember correctly, it's completely empty up there. But, it's quite... It's a bit of a trip down nostalgia lane, this. There's Colin! The original Colin, my ghoul! I actually created him just to kind of, you know, basically test out the... Because this is where, you remember, you've got the capture cages as well. This is my bar. But it's just, it's so cool. It's so cool uh, to kind of compare. Like, if you, I'll give a bit more panoramic here. This here was meant to be my, kind of my slums area. It was at this point that I decided I just didn't want to continue making this build. Because it was just way too big. And it was just getting a little bit, I don't know, ugly. And I think also because we, oh, random stairs that I used to build. <laughs> I left that there, oops. Uh, because I wanted to... Wanted to do more detailed builds, basically, and this was getting, like... The frame rate's a bit better now, just by dint of the fact I've been wandering around the settlement for a little bit. But even you can see there, it's really stuttery. And... Basically, unless... Like, if you're just popping in and out, it just doesn't really work. Did Colin just move, or do I have two ghouls? I might have two ghouls. Potentially. Potentially. Yes, I do. I do have two ghouls. Fair enough. I used to have just Colin. Is it Colin 1 and Colin 2? Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, it's it, it, it's cool, isn't it? Like, it's it's kind of like... I think we've definitely all improved. Like, some people send me pictures. Stuff for people who, like, you know, who've only just discovered my channel. This isn't due to me at all. Like, you know, people have got mods now, and they're experimenting using other YouTuber stuff as well. But it's it's interesting how we've all developed. Now, I'm just curious how much of that is just that we have mods now and more choice, or whether we've actually just gotten better at designing. I think it also means that also most of us now are kind of glitching things together. So example, you see every structure here with the exception of the wall is actually snapped together. Whereas if you kind of pay attention to my builds now and other people's builds, we rarely snap stuff together anymore. It's all kind of like glitched together using the pillar. Also again with my decoration. This is a bit more representative of how my decoration was back in the day, which is very much just loads of desks with containers on them. As you can see. And I also had loads of TVs and loads of seating areas as well. Whereas now, obviously, we've actually got some decent tools for decoration. I'll do a quick whiz. This was actually meant to be a cage for a death claw, by the way. And it was then after that point that we realised that you couldn't cage up permanently. If you could, you could keep them actually in, in their actual cages, but you couldn't, say, make an enclosure for them, which, which kind of sucked. Bethesda had it so all of the creatures spawn at a certain point, which is really annoying. Which is a shame, because I wanted caged ghouls. This is my little... My power armor. Oh, this is all bringing back memories, this. Oh, oh. Though, one thing, I'll be utterly frank, what this is reinforcing to me quite a bit, is that I don't think I want to come back and rebuild this. Just because it just... It doesn't look as good as how I remember it. It still looks cool. Like, I still love these towers. Towers looks cool. I am actually going to remake these builds again. But... And I like the walls, but realistically, it isn't a... I, I don't think it would be impractical to rebuild it again, because with the with the mods at our disposal, it just wouldn't look very good, basically. I'd have to base, to be honest, trash most of everything, bar maybe the walls. And it just and it would also be a complete lag fest as well. Let's wander across the walls here so we can see again. Very, very sexy walls. So yeah, I hope you guys like that. I, I don't think I've ever actually really done a kind of complete tour of this place. Uh, people have asked me, I said I will, will not be going back, but what I'm thinking of doing, if you're keen, 
is um, kind of several tours in one video. So what I might do is revisit a lot of the older settlements so we can compare. Also, you can just see a different idea because I've actually built up about two thirds of the settlements or half of them or something in this save. And it might be interesting for you guys to see how they've changed. But what I'll do is I won't do like, you know, Red Rocket. I'll do like three settlements. So it'll only be a couple of videos. So if you guys are keen on that, why is that Brahmin dead? It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to come back here. Just random dead Brahmin. And that wasn't dead before. Hmm. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh, like that, I'll make a few videos, maybe maybe later down the line. Um, the next video tomorrow will be my next 40k lore video. It was going to be up this week, but the long and the short is I hate doing scripts, and I've decided that I don't like the way I sound when I script, so I'm going to be on the cuffing those videos, which means I just wasted the entire week trying to write scripts that I liked. But it's cool, it'll be up tomorrow. And also I'll have a build video as well, because I'm, I've been a bit... Due to the scripts distracting me, I've been a bit off this week, so I'll get back into it. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter, at NoRespawns, and you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.